This conversation about building up your blueprint. It's time to take it because time is wasted. Go grind and chase it. Don't lose it. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your main man in the building again. Of course, your host, your blueprint mastermind. Welcoming you. Welcoming you to the Respect My Blueprint podcast where we highlight the blueprint of all successful entrepreneurs across all industries. And um, we have another great friend here, entrepreneur. We're going to hear his blueprint. And we have somebody that's making waves in the media space, you know, podcasting. And we're going to learn how not only, of course, me being a podcaster, I know how, you know, instrumental podcasting is, but we're going to hear from another podcast agency owner. And we're going to le- hear how, The power of podcasting can actually help scale your business, right? You know, and, you know, bring leads to your business and bring you direct uh, awareness and visibility for your business. So, you know, we're going to hear from, you know, one of the pioneers when it comes to the podcasting game and also somebody that's, you know, really big in relationship capital and also a mentor of mine, none other than Brendan Boyd. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Listen, you you can do my intro anytime. (laughs) Yo, matter of fact, when this part is over, just give me that part. That's it, right? I need, I need the audio insert, and I need the video insert. I'll put that in front of my videos, and I have that when I walk out. That, there that, we go, that rock out, right? Bro. That's what's up. That's what's up. How we doing, man? Chilling, bro. How you feeling today? I'm excited to be here. Dope. You know what I'm saying? It, it, I mean, I haven't been back in Florida in a minute, so it's a pleasure to be here, you know, on your platform, you know, just sharing the stage, you know, chopping it up, you know. Which, by the way, man, listen, I, he's being very modest right now, ladies and gentlemen, but... I want to go ahead and give him his flowers. This man here, you know, we've only known each other, I think, not a short amount of time, but he has made a tremendous amount of impact in my life and my business and, you know, the vision. And that's why I wanted to bring him onto the show so he could share with everybody, you know, some of the impact and some gems that he could share with you guys. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and give him the mic. Go ahead and let everybody know who is Brendan Boyd. Well, before I do that, if you don't mind, uh, you know, I just kind of want to um, piggyback on what you said, right? So, you know, we, we, we've we only know, known each other um, maybe like a, a little over two months. Maybe? Yeah, two months. Something yeah, like right. <laughs> so, like, one, one of my big things right now, and I feel like, Everyone should adopt this. This is, just, this is my opinion. Mm-hmm. Flow, flow, power with power. Flow, value with value. So before we even met, I put money in your pocket. Big, big fat. I yeah. cannot dispute that. He's you know absolutely saying? right. Yeah, and, and yeah. not just a, a couple bags. Yeah, right. You know, you know, know? and it's keep going. We still right, rocking, right. right? So, so what I mean is, sometimes all value may not be monetary, right? But right. when you think about relationships that you want to develop. When you think about uh, people that you want to connect with, when you think about places that you want to go, when you think about people that may be a step, a couple steps ahead of you, and you right. admire them, what value can you bring to that table? Okay, right, that will allow you to flow value with value, or, or allow you to flow power with power, power. Or what can you create or generate to exchange or offer up? That's going to bring more value or more power to that person. And then as a result of that, that's going to give you an a inroad or an opportunity to build a relationship with that person. Understood, right? right. So, okay. so if I'm able to create an opportunity or, or, or put money in somebody else's pocket that I don't even know, and I'm not doing it for my benefit, I'm doing it because I see, like, listen, this is a great, this is a great opportunity, opportunity for that person. Right. All that's going to do is circle right back to you. Absolutely. You know what I'm you saying? And, and people need to think about doing that first way before they ask for something. Get yeah, him having that handout approach pretty yeah. much. See what you could actually give, how you could serve first, yeah. obviously. Yeah, how right. yeah, what value can you flow? What power can you flow to someone that you want to connect with way before that you even position yourself to to try to receive something from that person? It's crazy you mentioned that because, you know, you know, that's you know, that's a theory that I believe in, but you know, it's so hard to crack that code amongst our community, right? Because you know, we well, just I'm did the show. Do it right now. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Right now, stop what you're doing right now. <laughs> right. Adopt what I'm saying. If there's any doors closed, or if there's any per, in, any people, like for instance, let's say there's a high level entrepreneur that might even charge a hefty bag. Like Durain was on here earlier, right? Right. It's a hefty bag to work with Durant. Right. But if you were someone that was studying or paying attention to him, what do you feel like he might need help with? What what, what can you see that he might need help with? That, that maybe you marketing, from, maybe yeah, something. You know, right. Maybe he's a camera person. You know, maybe he needs an editor. You right. Know, maybe he needs somebody to help him with copy. Maybe he's, he needs somebody that that, that that can arrange his schedule. Maybe he needs somebody that 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 can um 
you know, help him with, um, you know, like fashion or something. Not not saying anything wrong with his fashion. Right, but Maybe I know he just needs saying. somebody so he don't even have to think about what to wear. Right. What right. can you notice that someone that you really want to rock with that you can actually value to bring that value right. or, or or plug in that space? That's how you're gonna develop the relationship. And if he tries a fifty ball to work with him. You might get that for free because you have that association. You close to the fire. You're right. close to the proximity. Not only are you getting a game, you're building a relationship. Plus tapping in his network. Plus tapping into his network. Right, right. And right. all you gotta do is pay attention. That's it. So I'm telling you right now, like we could just start off the blueprint that way. Like, <laughs> like, like, there like, you this, go. This, That's this, what's up. However you think, however you process, stop it right now and just think about that. Who in your life right now that you want to connect with to go to the next level? Study them, spend some time, look at their socials, look at their programs, their services, their packages, especially right. if they're a high-level entrepreneur. They busy, so that means everything may not be on point. May not be tailor-made. You got to exactly. be able to but ride. You might, gotcha. have a, you might have a distinct skill or a know-how or be a connector. Sometimes you may not be the one that can do it, but you can be the one that can get it done. Done, right. So if you're a high-level connector... Maybe hey, you can bring this person and connect them with that person you want to link. You're, now they value because who made that happen? Right. And there's a lot of, there's a tremendous value in that because if, to give it, you know, that's how we link, right? In a way, we met through mu a mutual acquaintance and everything like yeah, that, right? Yeah. The shout relationship. Out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out to uh, Chase. Shout out to Chase. Shout yeah. out to Chase. Yeah. And shout out to, of course, uh, Jared and everybody, right? So I want to go ahead and highlight your blueprint, right? Now, you know, oh, wait, we, do we, I need to introduce myself? No, no. Well, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to build some context a little bit, you know. So, you know, when we met and everything like that, you, you know, I, I've learned from that, you know, you was able to build your podcast agency and everything like that through just your network and you hustling and grinding and everything like that, right? So if you could share with everybody, how did you actually plan your blueprint? You know, how did you kickstart it off the ground? Was it something that was just like, you know what, let me try this lane here. Or it was something that came to you through inspiration of through a mentor or something like that. Well, the that. first thing I do is I help podcasters make five to $10,000 a month without brand deal sponsorships or large audiences. That's 100% separate from the pod agency. So oh, how the pod agency okay. came about, that just came about out of sheer necessity. So, Ooh, so for me, shit. it's like, how do you generate leads consistently? How, how, do you con how do you continue to get in front of your target audience consistently? Right. Which is a problem for many people. Yep. And then, and then how do you then, once you get in front of them consistently, how do you ensure that you capture leads, capture that data, uh, so then you can go back and then serve them, right? And how, right. Do you turn the how do you turn the podcast into lead generation assets? Because what happens is, you, you, know, you know, most people go on a podcast, talk that talk, that's it. That's it. No call to action. They don't even listen to don't even listen to watch their own podcast. No strategy behind nothing. or nothing. Right. Nothing. Okay. Right? So if you go on in with intention, you give heavy game, right? Give a call to action. It could be a call to action to a sale, call to action to a master class, course, you know, a free free lead magnet, whatever. Right. If not, create something. If not, create something, right? right? Uh-huh. And then what that's gonna do is you're gonna turn that podcast into a lead generation asset because Podcasts they age very well. So so really, this this podcast might drop. It might get three figure, four figure, five figure views off the rip. Right. But what's gonna happen in the next six months? Those those views ain't going down. It's gonna keep evergreen. What's going on in the next fifteen months? Right. right? It's evergreen. Right. So you got to call to action at the end. Guess what? You might be getting leads for fifteen months, and you stack podcasts after podcasts after podcasts. Right. Right. So you know, okay. You got 10, 15, 24, 36, 40 podcasts that are all bringing you leads. Wow. That are all relevant, wow. that are all count compounding. We talked about, you know, right. we were talking about money, right? Absolutely. Now with compounding media. Exposure. Exposure. Right. You own the data. And then if you want to take it a step further, what you want to do, you want to get get those files. Exactly. Get you those know? files. Get yourself a little media team, a hire a VA. Chop those up. Repurpose. Now you got 10, 15, 20 clips per episode that you redistribute in. It can go crazy, bro. Which, my, which a lot of, we you know, we talked about this as well, too. You know, podcasting is a new form of direct advertisement, which you said something very profound to me is that podcasting is the only lane that could capture someone's attention. It's for the only more, lane, bro. For, oh, for over 20 minutes. Lane. Listen, where's, <laughs> you know? attention? where's attention right now? On TikTok, Instagram. And it's short. Right? Uh, YouTube shorts. Right. Even, um, what? What's the other one joint now? Uh, Snapchat or Pinterest, Twitter? Even Pinterest has vertical video now. Literally, short form videos. Right? 
So the longest short video, short form video you're gonna get is gonna be on TikTok because it can go up to three minutes. Right. But everyone's used to 45, 60 second videos. Right. But right now, the hottest videos right now are eight to ten seconds. So if people are spending eight to ten seconds to sixty seconds watching content, That's where else point. are they going where are you to going? watch long form? Good point. And the only place you're gonna watch or listen long form is a podcast by default. You don't even question. You already know the podcast is gonna be 20, 30, 40, yeah. 60 plus minutes. Yeah. Joe Rogan podcast is like three hours. Right? Right. Drink Champs is like three hours. Right? Good point. Good you know, point. Right. You got mil- million dollars worth of game is like two hours. Right. Right? People ain't blinging them eyes. They're and like, even the short they, clips are like five to ten minutes. They're not 60 second well, the clips. segments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right, yeah. I right. mean, that's a whole nother, you know, distribution piece of the content. But facts, bro. So people are just accepting that, yeah, I'm going to listen to the podcast. I'm giving you at least 20 minutes. And they don't right. care about the host. They don't care about the guest. It's the subject matter. That comes out. So if the scroll. title was lit, the subject matter is lit. I don't got to be edified by the host of the guest. I'm gonna watch that because I want to learn that information. Absolutely. So it's in your best interest as an entrepreneur, a business owner, a service based provider, a product based provider to get in front of more people via podcasting because they're giving you the attention. And that's not to say you shouldn't be on short form. You should do that also. Right. But the more time that I can spend with you on a long form piece of content, that means I'm gonna I'm gonna be connected to you faster. And I, I know can like trust is gonna go faster. Right. No, but think about this. Let's say you met me. Okay. First time, right? Mm-hmm. And you talking about helping me. Well, well, let's say business credit. Okay. I'm interested. My ears is peak. Right. My eyes is open. Light bulbs. I'm like, yo, I need that. Okay. I just met you. You're a stranger. I'm a little skeptical. I never heard of business credit before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little skeptical. I met you at Smoothie King. You know what I'm saying? You get a okay. smoothie, I'll get a smoothie, right? Okay. But, Ironic, we just had, had Smoothie King earlier, but go ahead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now, so now look, you're like, hey, listen, um, great meeting you. Look forward to connecting with you. You want right. to talk next week? Cool. Next week. Let's say seven, let's say seven days from now. Same What's time up? next week. Okay. But what if you sent me a playlist of podcasts that you were just on? Mm. I got seven days to listen. Hey, listen, you know, I'm going to give you this playlist. Check it out. Bunch of free game, you know. That is true. Okay. So and go time, down the rabbit hole after listening to one. So by the time I get to our meeting in a week, I might have spent five hours with you without being with without you. Without even knowing it. Right. So now when I'm actually with you in real life, I'm like, bro, I'm ready to go. Let's go. You yeah. answered all my questions. You gave me some game. I probably got a, I probably got a result already. You know what I'm saying? I probably made uh-huh. some moves already. I'm excited. Yeah, and so you you're in the that, sizzle now, right? You did that with the content. I just spent time with you saying. without having to spend time with you. If I was gonna spend five hours with you in real life, that might take a month, two months to build up that six value. Hundred percent. I know, like trust expedites when you have long form content. So okay, which I could agree with you on that. You know, that's part of you know a lot. Of what you just shared was the reason why we've started Blueprint Media as well, too, right? You know, which more or less, I my inspiration came from like the whole George Floyd incident. Yeah, seeing that uh, uh, incident, and I seen okay, there was a need for independent media, right? So, you on the other hand, okay, you more have seen it as a business opportunity, more of like on the blue ocean, right? It's like okay, the old model of. TV and radio is gone, so let me go ahead and tap into the new form of direct advertisement podcasting, right? So if, now, what I wanted to ask you is, you know, what is some of, you know, a lot of people out there wanting to start a podcast. Yeah. Almost everybody has a podcast nowadays, right? You know, but so why, I mean, what separates a good podcaster from somebody that's just want to go ahead and start it out? You know, why is you feel, you know, the field is so saturated. How can we even that out a little bit? Well, I got to, I got to push back on a little bit because there's no saturation. No. Saturation is in your mind. I just, but everybody has a podcast, bro. But is everyone listening to everybody's podcast? McDonald's make a billion dollars and so does, so does um, Burger King and they across the street. Okay. Okay. All right. Now. All right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you got Carl's Jr., Right, <laughs> right, right. that is true. You got yeah, Jack in the Box, you got McDonald's, y'all probably got some burgers places. Yeah, Wendy's, a bunch of different burger right. joints, right? Is okay. that saturation or are they all billion dollar companies off of burgers? Okay, so you're trying to tell me we should get more podcasters out here then, huh? What I'm trying to say is there's a difference between saturation in real life and saturation in your mindset. There's no industry, right? Okay, so there may be some industries that are younger, so there are blue oceans, or maybe your strategy or your messaging creates a blue ocean. Right. But for the majority of point, for for the majority of industries, there's multiple people in that industry tapping into it. Right. 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 Like understand. there's hundreds of thousands of realtors. 
Oh there's yeah, hundreds and, of thousands of insurance people. Yeah, and there's gonna be no shortage. You know, that's what I'm saying. Right, I right? see what you're saying. Okay. So when it comes to actually podcasting, what separates somebody from real or for fake mm-hmm. is someone that's actually studying the craft, the craft itself. Right. So number one, you actually care about having the interviews, right? You're gonna have you're gonna have some information on the guests that you have on. Right. That that you know you really want to flow value to the guests. You're not you're not podcasting selfishly, and you at least have 50 episodes. 50, that's the 50, magic 50 number. 50 makes you real. There's a lot of high-level um, you know, entrepreneurs or business owners out there. They won't go on your podcast unless you have 50 episodes because that's like the benchmark number to, to let you know your show is actually not going to go away. Right, that you, know you have some consistency in the catalog 100%. You. Right, because okay. they don't want to waste their time. They don't want the content to come out and then it goes stale because right. the show ends. Good point. You know what I mean? So what makes you a good podcast is going to be consistency. It's going to be you actually caring about what you do. Right. Um, you actually having uh, quality messages or you bring quality guests on and you actually care enough about finding out the information on the guests. You can have a real conversation and then you keep um, improving and improving. Well, you know, you in your in your uh, brand, you have a unique proposition and yours is a little different than some of the other podcast agents, podcasting agencies out there. Right. Um, where in an aspect, you not only help clients increase their exposure by appearing in front of different podcasts, but you also help them in the optimization and the strategy of their business and everything, right? Yeah. So if you could share that, you know, your blueprint as far as what separates you from the other podcasters out there. Well, there's a lot of po- – you, you're talking about podcasters? Podcast agent, podcast okay. agency. So, I'm sorry. So, all right, so there's a, lot of, there's a lot of, you know, agencies out there that might be PR or whatever. Right. So, you know, I'll accept the fact that what I do is a form of PR. You know what I'm saying? With, with this agency, right? But right. I'm, in a, I'm in a specific podcasting space. So I'm helping amazing individuals like yourself or like, you know, my clients like uh, Doreen, like Myri, right? Like, like, like Isaac, Isaac, like, right. know, uh, Andre, right? I'm helping them get on these amazing platforms, right? Right. So they can increase their brand awareness, expand their digital footprint, become more findable, become more searchable, right? right? Have that high level of edification. That's on the front end. Okay. Not to mention once they actually on the podcast, the relationships that can, they develop with the hosts. At that time point in time, the right. The deals okay. and, and collaborations that they can produce with the hosts. Right. Okay. Right. Affiliate opportunities that, that, that can come that way. Right. Right. Okay. Extra promo through commercials. Man, preach. You going right? on. Come on. Come on. We ain't even talking about that. That's okay. just the bonus yeah, Exactly. Part. Right. <laughs> And then on the back end, we want to make sure they have a capture funnel because we want to turn the podcast into lead generation. Wow! And a lot man. of these, and a lot there of these agencies out here, they just want to get you on a show. Which that's the unique proposition yeah. right there. Is basically that's cool. Anybody you're, you're can showing get you on everybody the show. to be intentional when yeah. you come. We want here. you to go on there with the intent to win over the audience, flow value, win them over, Generate right? Leads. Give them, give them, give them games so they can get a result. But then take a percentage of them into perpetuity through an evergreen capture funnel and generate leads consistently. And then that's right. what we do. Okay. And then once you get those leads on the back end, you you know, where you want to send them? Is it community, masterclass, workshop, ebook, you have the wherever you want them to go. Right. And then you and then at that point you want to nurture that audience to keep them warmed up. You know what I'm so, saying? So so in a way you've built your agency and your business model as, as a lead generation machine. That's what it is, bro. You know, so which let me ask you a question when it comes in the world of entrepreneurship or even podcasting, we could niche it down. You know, how important, how important is lead generation? If you don't got no leads, you don't you got have no business, business right? <laughs> I, mean, I, told, I told you before, someone can literally today have an offer. Right. Okay. Pre-sell the offer by getting attention and get in front of audiences, make money today or this week. Finish that offer in a month or two, however long it takes you. you fulfill it. Fulfill it. Uh-huh. You know, you set the expectations. Hey, listen, this is a pre-sale. This is a beta test. I'll lend you guys in early, whatever. So you let them know what's going on. Right, okay. You can get sales now or this week. Hmm. Versus if you spend 30, 60, 90 days creating this thing and making it perfect, and then 90 days later you ain't sell nothing because you ain't getting in front of nobody. And you're not even guaranteed to make a sale after the 90 days. Exactly. You, right. you got nothing to test. You got right. no live feedback. The only person I've seen it or think that's as hot is yourself. You <laughs> right, know what I'm saying? Point. That's and how you got no close. money. And then you frustrated after you done spent 60, 90 days finishing it because there ain't nobody bought it. Or you can come out with an offer right now, get in front of people, 
Pre-sell that offer. Get money right now. Get it tested. Get feedback. And then work and, and then, then figure and, it out and as then you're going. It. If you need to finish it or whatever right. case may be, or improve it in real time. Right. And get money and keep getting money. So well, I'd rather get money for three months than work on it for three months and get no money. You know, so it, it, in a sense, and I could uh, uh, agree with that because sometimes we're our own worst enemy, right? You know, that perfection, trying to perfect something can sometimes lead us to stifle us when it comes to creative juices and yeah. things like that, right? So, you know, so... You created a blueprint on helping entrepreneurs not only get in front of podcasters, but also capturing that lead and turning their some selves into a lead generating machine. Bro, right? I am the avatar. I've you, had the problem. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've had the problem. I've had the problem of not which being brought you the solution. That's what I'm saying. You have to. You have to be either someone that experienced the problem or see the see the problem in real life that you know you can solve it. Right. Okay. You, you know, you, I see what you, you're saying. You know, right. Yeah. Because that's usually you know going through the school of hard knocks, and that's how you graduated to obviously become hundred percent. So, I've I've had the problem. I've seen agencies that get you on shows, but that's when it stops. That's it. Here you we're booking you on. That's so it. I'm like, okay, what can? How can I leverage it? Provide more value. Make it a no brainer. Right for 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 those individuals that that understand the power of getting in front of more, you know more people and different eyeballs and ears. Right. Okay. Right. And that's who it's for. It's not for everyone. You know what I'm saying? What what I do and what I provide with the pie agency may not be for every entrepreneur or business owner, but it's gonna be the, it's gonna be for the ones that it's for the ones that understand they can accelerate their sales if they get in front of consistent audiences. Right. Okay. And which, then which to you also not only help individuals get in front of podcasts, but you also help individuals set up their podcast too, right? Yeah, that's the Podcast Academy. Podcast the Academy, podcast okay. Academy, yeah. Right, okay. So I, so I make that extremely easy, you know what I'm saying? So for podcasts that's looking to monetize, you do not need brand deals. You do not need sponsorships. Whoa, 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 you do not need Google money, whoa, whoa, whoa. Google on, AdSense to make money Podcast one, episode one. You know, you, you know you're raising week. a lot of eyebrows right now. I'm going to raise them too. <laughs> you should raise yours too. <laughs> like, hold on, man. What did he say? Yeah. yeah. So, But expound on that a little bit. New podcasters can get mm. money as early as or soon as episode one. What? Talk, With, man. Without brand deals. The pro this is the thing. Mm -hmm. Podcasting has a very, it's weird. It has like this just, just, just assumed understanding. That right. the only way I can make money is if it's with yeah. sponsorship and a brand deal or YouTube money. Well, I'm gonna let you know. Even if you even if you get into monetization by YouTube, where you need four thousand watch hours right. and a thousand subscribers, you still can't get no money. That just puts you in position. Yeah, yeah. You're not getting mm -hmm. no money until you get like five figure views Easy. at least. Right. 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 And if and if you're not getting at least a hundred dollars a month, they're not releasing no money. So that you can make ninety two dollars in a month, and you ain't getting nothing. roll over to the it's next month. Over. Yeah, right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So the fastest way that podcasters can monetize, right? Right. It's with an affiliate. Really? Oh man, you dropping offer. some game right now, man. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just let y'all know what Drop it is. Drop some game. Come affiliate on. Affiliate offer. Now this is the thing. Not just any affiliate. Like okay. yeah, you can go to ClickBank. You can go to JV Zoo. They got some good ones. Right. But what you want to do is you want to find an affiliate offer. Right. That's attractive. Oh. What okay, if I told on, you? Now, but, there's a, that, but there's a secret behind that because not many of them are attractive. Bro, let me so tell how you, you tell what me? What if I told you no fulfillment, no selling, you can get five hundred to a thousand dollars by just referring through an affiliate? In other words, you're telling me that's not too much work on my end. I don't got to. Uh, all you got to do is mention gotta... it. You mention it on your podcast, or take it the next step further, make a video commercial or right. audio commercial, put it in post. Every single episode you have that affiliate, all you need is one person to convert per episode. That's just one way. That's 500 bucks right there. Boom, you monetize. You find an attractive affiliate, bro, and I got a bunch of them. Mm. What if so, I show this affiliate right now that will pay you out $1,000 for one referral? A, a thousand bucks. You don't have to do no selling, no fulfilling. You just mention it. And guess what? It's a product that business owners need. So there will be no share, hmm. no share low right. of people needing the product. 
And this is phenomenal because affiliate marketing, as you know, has exploded. Yeah, it's exploded. Exploded uh-huh. nowadays, right? So you're telling me if you're a brand new podcaster, right? And it doesn't matter what niche the podcast, entertainment, no, sports, whatever the case no may difference. be, right? You can monetize off your podcast from episode one. Episode uno. Wow. Listen, okay. But that's just one way, bro. That's just yeah, and that's not even talk, talk going into the affiliate the community and everything like we that as well about too. Other stuff, yeah. We ain't talk about other stuff. We talk, I want y'all to get money fast. All right. There's too many podcasts out out here. Let me let me see let me let me see if it uh sometimes my CV be working sometimes right, it don't be working. Let talk. me ask you. Okay. Let's see if she, let's see if she's working today. Let's see if she works. Hey Siri. No, see she ain't on. She ain't, she ain't working. working. Okay. So All right. when I ask her like how much do podcasters make? She'll tell you like ninety percent of them are not making no bread. Ninety percent, ninety percent of podcasters right now are not making any money. Are they doing it? Uh, is, is it? What's your thoughts? Is it because of just doing it because of passion, or they don't know how to monetize? They don't know how to monetize. They uh, think it's brand deals, sponsorships, and, and YouTube everything. Money. Wow! No one told them that. They just think that's it. You know how many conversations I had, and they're like, "Yeah, man, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm gonna monetize next year." I'm like, "What are you talking next year, about?" Yeah, like, come on, you're like, not even who talking. Who told real- you that? <laughs> like, what do you mean next year? You can monetize next week. How about tomorrow? You know what I'm saying? And it's just because they just don't know. And you don't have to have a huge amount of subscribers or nothing. You can start from zero. Bro, and let me tell you really this. Start. If we was in a room, let's say, let's take the podcast aside. Okay. If you and I was in a room and it was 50 people in there, wouldn't that be like a fire room? Hell yeah. So why do podcasters think if they get 50 views or 50 downloads that it's a bad po- thing? It's a bad thing. Now, Let's say 10% of those 50 people in our room purchased your thing. And it wasn't even your thing. It was just the, it well, was the affiliate. Somebody else's, yeah, but you never knew who, what somebody wants. All you did was mention Right. What if 5% of people purchased that? That's like, what's that, like one and a half people? One and a half, yeah. You, so done it, got, you done got a sale. And you didn't even have to put any energy or footwork too the much into it. The podcasters have it confused. The metrics don't matter when it comes to monetization. Yes, metrics do matter. You want the podcast to grow. You right. want more people to listen to it. You want more people to to watch. Right. But you don't need that necessarily to monetize. Mm, I see. If you got 50 okay. views or 50 downloads, most people are like, damn, this is terrible. Yeah, it's like, it's not worth it. But we're talking about 50 folks that just got exposed to your product service or the that affiliate wasn't product before. service. That wasn't before. And let's say five of them, 10%, was like, yeah, I'm interested in that. Right, okay. And let's say that I feel it was $1,000. You just made $5,000 off a mm. product that you have to sell nor fulfill. And only 50 people watch your podcast. You know what I mean? Podcasters make $5,000. Not many, bro. Not many. Not many. 90% of them, let's put it like that, that's right? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> 90% and, of and them, that could yeah. be that could be in a month. And that's crazy because, you know, it's funny, podcasting has become a trend and everything like that. Um, but a lot of the misconceptions and misassumptions are being floated around out there. You know, say, uh, you like you said, the YouTube money, brand deal, sponsorships and everything like that. So, you know, um, with the clients that you work with, right? So necessarily you have you have a, 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 a great deal of clients from all industries. So how do you... And uh, work on getting your clients to the next level. I know you tell them, hey, don't focus on the sponsorships. Don't focus on. But what do you what's the some of the strategies you teach them to get to their podcast or even their brand to the next? So level? we're talking about if we're talking about podcasters in the academy. I just what's your goal? So if your goal is to make 5K a month, then we're going to help you make 5K a month. We just also oh, whatever just drop, it is that they're looking for plan. because everyone's next level is different. My next level may be like, I just want to I want really fire guests. That might be my next level. Right, okay. My next level might be like, you know what? I want to make my, let's say my my, my expenses are 3500 I just want my podcast to, su- to support my expenses. Expenses, okay. okay. Or subsidize my expenses, right? Right. So okay. everyone's, level, everyone's next level is different. So we want to identify what that looks like. And if it's a monetization thing, let's let's draw it out, right? We have several ways for you to make, to, make, to make some bread. So we just draw it out. It's just numbers. And then we go get those numbers. Hmm. Okay. Now, what are your thoughts about the old school PR companies like TV, radio, and everything like that? Do you think there's they they have a future? No, I mean, <laughs> I think I mean I think everything has a place. I mean, TV still still works. 
You know, Barely. it's not as effective, but there's some people that still watch take TV. Right. And if you wanted to grab um, some cheap, you know, commercials on syndication or maybe your local TV market, if, if, if your pocket service is relevant, that might be a great space you can get, get in front of those people right, okay. for the low, right? Radio, the same thing, right? You and I might not listen to radio, but there's still millions of people in, in your city that are listening to radio. Right. If your product service is aligned, that may, that may make sense. Right, okay. But right now, I feel like you need to be on social. You need to be on YouTube. Necessary. You need to, you need to either uh, guest on several podcasts or have a podcast that have really good guests to flow audiences right. back to your okay. podcast. So what do you tell what do you tell anybody who hasn't been on a podcast right now? You need and you're a ass, business owner. You need to on a podcast. <laughs> what you need to do? What you need to do is uh, you know, hit us up. You know, you need to DM uh, Pod A G N C Y. Right? Yeah, there you go. Right. Yeah, there you go. I just, I just settled the new gram, so you need to just DM us, and uh, you know, we we set you up. Like you need to get in front of people. You can't sell any business owners. Mm-hmm. That are not selling any products. You should not be frustrated because you're not selling. You just need to get in front of people. So if what you, if your marketing does not enable you to get in front of people, you need to change your marketing strategy. So it's a marketing problem if you're having, yeah, it's more the not. The only problem is marketing. Nine times out of ten. If you have a you fire product or selling, service. Right. And get in front of people consistently and you can sell by default. Right, people that just lay down and purchase yeah, your product or service. Because you might right? suck at selling, but somebody might really need what you have, and they might just buy it because it's needed. They're a hot, they're a hot avatar, they're a hot client. Right. You you got a band aid, they got a cut. You might be a sucky salesperson, but they need the band aid. Um, bottom line, right, right. So if you just keep getting in front of people that got wounds, that got cuts, you're gonna sell a band aid. You're gonna sell a band aid. Okay, right? good point. Okay. So if you're a business owner right now, entrepreneur right now, in whatever category, and you're not selling. Your problem is get in front of people. That's the main problem. So, okay. So let's 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 switch gears a little bit here. All right. So how did you get into podcasting in the first place? Because I wanted to we talked about flowing value to value, right? Right. I wanted to increase my um my uh circle. I wanted to meet more people intentionally. I wanted to have actual actual millionaire friends. Okay. Right? And if and the fastest path for me to uh generate relationships with millionaires right. at the time was creating a platform that I could leverage mm. to introduce them to come on the platform so I can have candid conversations with them. Oh, and then and then okay. be and then befriend them. So it's a way to sort of like you say to bring the power of proximity to you. It's the way. It's not a way. It's the way. It's the way. If you're watching right now, you do not have a podcast. Let's say you want to connect with, I don't know, let's say Stormy Wellington. I don't know, she just came to mind. Stormy okay. Wellington, high, high, high level entrepreneur. She's been on 10X stages. She talks big talk. She makes multi millions of dollars. Let's say you wanted to talk to her. Mm-hmm. If you send her a DM or an email, highly unlikely she you'll be probably able ain't to... responding. Right. Right? Highly you, unlikely. Hey, hey, I want to connect with you. You know, we'd love to, you know, I need a mentor or whatever, or pick your brain. She ain't responding to that. Right. But if you pull up and say, hey, Stormy, maybe on a DM email too, right? I have a podcast. I would love to interview you about your message, how you connect with people, how you help people, the solutions that you provide, and just learn more from you. I would love for you to come on. Boom. Virtual or in person is a totally different ask, totally Good different point. offer. It's going gonna, it's gonna to increase your opportunity to have her on your show as a guest. Right, and if she doesn't respond right away, it's just a time thing. Every single person that I asked to come on the podcast in the past four or five years have all got on the podcast. Wow, it's just been timing. It's just been timing, just right? Been time. Some people right away. Some people a couple more emails, couple text messages. They get on. It's, Everyone I mean, gets on. It's Everyone the hottest trend, on, bro. Yeah, it's the hottest trend Everyone right gets now. On. You feel me? <laughs> so let me ask you: If you Fresh in the game right now. What are the three things you need to be able to start a podcast? It depends, man. It depends. You want to be virtual or you want to be in person? It's two different things. Okay. Well, most people like the 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 uh, video podcast because there's Spotify, YouTube, and everything like that. So if I wanted to start a video-based podcast, what are the three things that I but would But again, what are you asking? Virtual video or in-person video? It's two different things. Mm, okay. Let's go with in-person video. All right. So if it's in-person video... You need a camera. <laughs> well, let's let's number get that one. first and foremost, right? You need a camera. Okay, all right, all right. Camera number one. Uh huh. 
tripod. Okay. Microphone. Extra batteries. Mas- necessary. Okay. Extra SD cards. Damn. Right. You right. Need some lights. And this is just now we're that's just equipment. That's just the bottom. Bottom like of you, the line. If you don't equipment. got that, don't even pull up. Ooh. Because that means your audio is gonna suck. Your lighting is gonna suck. Your camera's going to be floating. Your memory might be gonna, full, gonna, yeah. Your memory's <laughs> going to be full. You're going to run out of battery. The podcast's going to be done. The, get, the guest's going to be frustrated. You're going to be embarrassed. It ain't going to work. Oh, okay. Right? Right. Okay. If you don't got a microphone, the audio, you're going to have all this white noise in it. You're not going to be happy. They're going to feel like you wasted your time. But if you just did it and you started, I'm not mad at you. You can you understand you that. Yeah, you just got out. It's your right. first one. Okay. But I'm just right. saying, those are the, if it's physical, those are the things that you need. Necessary out the gate. Okay. Yeah. And if you're not a conversationalist, you need to go listen to po- some podcasts. You need to go listen to some interviews. Which, that's that's a right? good point. And a then, lot of people, I feel like, just get into the game without learning yeah, the craft. Do that. And then worst case scenario, come with like 10 questions that you can ask a person. Like Pre-made if you're just starting, right. you're not the best conversationalist. Like me, I can pull up. I don't even necessarily need questions. I can just look at somebody's bio or look at their social, consume some content, and I can get busy. Right. Right? But if I got the time, I'm going to go in. I'm going to capture some information. I'm going to have questions I need to ask, and I'm going to flow with it. Right. But some people may be a little bit shy. They may not be able to come off the riff with questions. True. You know what I'm saying? They may not be processing information at the same way as they're listening. Right. Don't know how to formulate a conversation. they They need a little bit more reps. Right. So write down 10 questions minimum. Put them in your phone. Put them in your iPad or bring a cue card. And then just ask the questions off the card and just flow with the conversation. Don't make it bigger than it is. It's a conversation. That's at the end of the day. That's what it is. Just because it's lights and cameras and microphones, you know what I'm saying? It's not. Okay. Don't talk yourself out the position by thinking it's more than it is. Because Uh, that's going to prevent you from being authentically yourself and asking questions like you'll be talking to your friend, talking to the guest that you want to have on the show. Okay. So let me. Then you. I see a lot. It's of It's even simpler if you want to go virtual, bro. Even really? simpler. Really? Yeah. You don't need none of the stuff I just mentioned. Well, if you wanted to go virtual, what would you need then? Laptop or iPad. Okay. Software. That's it. What? Yeah. If you want. So literally anybody can start a podcast right now. You can right start now. on your phone. Yeah, you start on your phone. Now listen. If you want, if you want to have a little better, crisper, uh, uh, quality, quality, uh huh, then get a USB mic. USB camera. Okay, so it's all plugged into you the... You just plug it in. Right, okay, but you okay. just want to rock out like, I see this, I'm inspired, I'm ready to go. You can have a conversation after this podcast by your phone or your laptop. What? And just and just rock out. It's funny how technology is able to go ahead and, and speed things up. So now you're telling me anyone could be a podcaster in Bro, a way. All you need is <laughs> the fortitude to do it. Software, right? Like, right. like Riverside, FM, StreamYard, Zoom, Restream, any of those. Right. Right? And, and then it. you need a host, like Buzzsprout, Podbeam. Oh, to distribute the, right? Uh, right. Yeah, okay. Circle to distribute it. Right. That's it. And then I don't encourage any of my uh, students to edit. But if you're like, this is my first goal, I want to touch and feel, then right. you can edit, whatever. Right. But you want to get out of that as soon as possible because that's, that normally takes double the amount of time it took you to shoot the podcast. That is true. I don't yeah. want you to spend time editing. I want you to spend time creating and building your business, um, building your podcast. That's all you need. That's it. Yeah. So what – the game is so easy to get in. However, people that get in 90% fail because they don't know understand the strategy of monetization. Yeah. So – the podcasters that's getting, what is the problem in the aspect of, do you think people are just doing it for, because they just want to have a conversation? It's just a passion project? There's no alignment, man. Like, a lot of people get excited about doing a podcast, especially if you're going to do it with a co-host. True, yeah. It's, it's fun. Like, oh, we're going to talk, yeah, we're we're talk. be talking about energy. We're going to be talking about, you know, we're, we're going to be talking <laughs> like about uh, health. We're going to be talking yeah. about <laughs> this and that. Right. It, I can't wait to start. But if you don't, if you don't have alignment, and you don't have a monetization strategy, after a couple episodes, it's going to turn into work. It is. And that's a good you point. A lot of people don't realize it's the turn work that work. comes behind this. Yeah. yeah. It's going to turn into work. And if you're not making money off the work that you're doing, you're going to you're gonna be unmotivated to continue. You're going to get burnt out. Right? Yeah. So when I started my podcast, it wasn't about money. It was about leveling up my relationships. 
I okay. really wanted to meet people that were doing better than me or interesting people. Right. I wanted to learn from them. I wanted to communicate with them. I wanted to have conversation with them. Right. right. I wanted to flow power with power. And I wanted to develop because of these conversations. Hmm. Right? Okay. So it wasn't okay. about money. So so my desire to continue didn't matter. If it At- if it cost me money to produce the episode made no difference to me because I was investing. Right, Durant, he was investing in yourself. Yeah, Durant talked point. about it earlier on um, one of your one of your episodes where yeah. he spent over three hundred thousand dollars a year investing, investing in his personal himself. development. Yeah. So you have to understand, like whatever the cost is for your podcast, it's an investment back into you. It's an investment back into your in, into your podcast. And another thing, podcasts are media businesses. So don't get that. Don't uh, get that. The new form of yeah. media. Yes, you're right. Don't get that misconstrued. Like yeah. as soon as you turn these cameras on, you turn on, you turn on the, um, you know the uh, the audio. You recording, the microphone's going. You're a media business, so you need to set it up that way. So you're investing into your business. You're investing into yourself. You're investing into your craft. You know what I'm Good saying? Good point. Okay. So point. it's not a cost. It's not an expense. It's an investment. You just need the information so you can know how to monetize and monetize fast, so you can keep it going. Hmm. Okay. Because there's a lot of podcasts. I think the stat was over sixty percent of podcasts um, that are out right now are dormant. They're not even rocking no more. They're just, really? They're just done. Yeah. That's over half. Over half. Yeah. Either flaming out, you know, getting unmotivated, not consistent, yeah, unmotivated, whatever the case. Not right. making money. It's it's a job. So it's out. So that again, that goes to your saturation. We ain't saturated, baby. Uh, it's it's gonna be a revolving door. In it's a way, open, man. Much. Yeah, it's okay. open. It don't even matter how much information I drop on this podcast. It's still gonna be people that listen to this that have a podcast. It's not gonna do nothing that I shared. They're not gonna move forward. Guess what? They're gonna add to that sixty percent. Mm. That Which means, that means it's wide open for the blueprint. Whoa, 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 man! Listen, man. If you're tuning into the show right now, one thing I can tell you: listen, it's not as easy as it seems. But I can tell you: once you get motivated to do it, when is a fulfilling and exhilarating career, right? You feel me? I mean, yeah. you get you get to travel, get to meet, break bread, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and have fun and monetize at the same time, right? So let me ask you a question. So if somebody wants to start a podcast, how would they promote their podcast? If they had, okay, boom, say, Brandon, let's start this podcast next Monday, right? We started next Monday. Obviously, we had zero subscribers. Yeah. But we say, man, within 90 days, we want to touch a respectable 5,000 subscribers or okay. 2,000. Yeah. What's your strategy in if for someone wanting to promote their podcast? So to promote your podcast, the first thing you want to do is do what you what you actually want people to do. You need to guest on other podcasts. Ah, a lot of that's podcasts key, is, right? A lot of podcasters forget that. I podcast them on your joint right now. Right. What's that going to help? People discover me. Where are they going to go? To my podcast. Podcast, right? right. Okay. And then I, w- I would probably start investing in some ads. $5 a day, $10 a day. Just run that. Dude. Something, right. Run that. Get your discoverability out. I mean, there's a uh, there's a bunch of other things you can do. You want to grow your email list. You want to grow right. your text message list. But we want you we want you to get out there fast. So you start guesting on shows, and you Easiest start putting way. a little a little bit of uh, ad spend out to get your uh, reach going. Right. I would do okay. those two things fast. Those okay. are the first two things I would probably do. And that's very inexpensive because you can you could as far as appearing on other shows, it doesn't matter the caliber. I mean. I would say starting out, the caliber of the show was not that important. I mean, you want to get on as many as you can. Right, you know, but it could be a startup podcast or even, you know, whatever the case may be that allows. A lot of the thing is, you just need to ask. A lot of people, Mm. a lot of people are like concerned, oh, this is a bigger show, I might not fit. Yeah. They may not want me on there. Oh, so budget, you talk baby, yourself just, out of position. Off rip. Yeah, I would just ask, man. Put put together a dream list of shows you want to go on. Put together a dream list of guests that you want to have on your show. You know what's going to help you get these guests on the show or help you get on these shows? Mm. Once you start asking. Period. Yeah. The man that don't ask don't get nothing, right? Nothing. Period. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, uh, investing in yourself ultimately is the key to promoting, which is investing in yourself, appearing on other shows as well, spending a little ad money, right? Okay. So that's the blueprint. Now, what's – how – let me ask you a question. So – we know what it takes to start a podcast. We know what it takes to promote a podcast, okay? So what would it take to have a podcast be successful? Again, <laughs> right? again it Because you on, talk about how to start it, again, how to promote it, so what's it the... It depends on a person's measure of success. What's your success metric for Blueprint Podcast? What's the metric? 
the metric is basically shares many blueprints out there from uh, from the guests who was able to come so on. So, how show. what's the number of blueprints? Honestly, our our number is we want to we want to get to a hundred thousand viewers because that lets us know we have a hundred thousand people who have watched our catalog of different blueprints of entrepreneurs. So, out there. so your metric uh, isn't monetization. Your it, metric is just views. Nah, because I'm more. I'm go. more. I'm so, more on the impact. So what I would do. This is a super cheat code. What I would do is I would run some ass 100%. Okay. Right? Number one, I would I would start guesting on shows. Getting right? your face out there. Getting your face out there. Right. And number two, uh -oh, I, uh -oh. I, would, I would make a commercial. Oh, hold on. Hold on right? Hold on, hold on, I would make on. a commercial. Hey, somebody got a pen and pad Listen, in there? Oh, okay. I yeah, would right make right a commercial uh -huh. about the blueprint. Right, promote a product or service. Right, hit up other podcasters that are not monetizing. Make a deal with them so you can get your commercial in their in their thing in their podcast. They're not making money anyway, so you just gave them our opportunity to make money. But it's really an ad back to your show. So That's that I mean? that affiliate coming into play now. Listen, they're gonna make some bread. You're gonna get free exposure. They're not making money anyway. All you gotta do is ask. What happens when you run that up to 100, 200, 300, 400 podcasts? I'm literally doing the same thing right now. Damn, boy. And it's free. You don't even gotta pay for that. Now, you might have to pay for that for some ones that are bigger, but there's a lot of smaller podcasts. That'll that, allow you that, to put that. Like, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Bro, listen, let me ask you right now. Can I put an ad in your joint? And, and this ad in your joint is going to give you a percentage of... Of course, why exactly. not? Look at you. It's like, this is, this is a no-brainer. Yeah, that's a, yeah, it's so, a win-win situation. That's what they're going to feel like for you. So I will put that plan together. You want to get the 100000 Put some ad revenue to the side. Right. Right? Maybe it's $100, 200 $300 a month. Just get that out. You can test that. You right. know what I mean? Whatever. Get yourself on shows... <laughs> right, I guess. <laughs> right, so they can flow back to the blueprint. Create a commercial, tie it to an affiliate product. Have a VA or someone for your team reach out to podcast after podcast after podcast. Right, give them an asset. Okay, so they don't got to do shit. Because if they got to work, then they may not do it. If yeah, they got, if they got, if enough. they got to create the commercial, if they, they probably were not gonna do it. Right, but if you give them the script, the audio commercial. The video commercial and the link or code. The steps to do it. Bro, it's a, it's a no brainer. All they got to do point. is do it in post. Hmm. So, what's your goal for, for, for the pod agency and not the pod agency and the academy and uh, your community as well, too? Those are, all, those are all different goals. I mean, mm -hmm. ultimately, with the um with the academy, you know, I want to help thirty eight hundred podcasters monetize, at least make thirteen hundred dollars. Thirty eight hundred. Yeah. Okay. And if they sell two things, two, three things, thirteen hundred dollars. A lot of them ain't even making that. So <laughs> so I want to inspire uh thirty eight hundred podcasts to at least make thirteen hundred dollars. That's in the academy. Okay. For monthly? But thirteen hundred dollars monthly. Just their first thirteen hundred. Because once they make their first thirteen hundred they're gonna be excited. They're excited to put some money in their pocket. They're gonna want to keep ride. going. Okay, right? gotcha. So I want to, I want to at least help them make their first thirteen hundred. Okay, yeah. understood. All right. Uh, number two, after that, when it comes to the actual agency, mm -hmm. I want to continue to just, just, just refine that. Right. So I got Give clients value, right now. Right. I want to make sure that when they go on these shows, they're going on the best caliber shows. They're going on interesting shows. They're going on shows that people haven't even heard of. They got amazing audiences. And they're able to stack and capture leads from each one of them. Right. And they're able to do sales and grow their business. So if the part of agency can help them increase uh, sales by 15%, 20%, that's, 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 that's going to make me happy. That, good point. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because right. they're going to stay with as a client, right? I'm learning, the, I'm learning what they need. Right. Right? I'm flowing more leads to them. They're converting and closing more sales. So I really want to re refine that process. And ultimately, that's a multi-million dollar business anyway, so we're going to eclipse that number. So, I mean, I, you know, that's what we're doing. And then with the community, the community is just for people that they know they need something, but they're not ready, ready, so they can get into this and, you know, we can hold your hand a little bit and help until you Until the time is right. Until the time is right, and then, you, you know, you get a little bit more comfortable, you're ready to invest. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's nonetheless you have different KPIs for each of your business models and everything yeah, like sure. that, you know. But ultimately, co collectively, your goal end goal is you want to go ahead and help your clients in spreading the visibility and awareness for their business. Facts, right, facts. right. Pod okay. agency is definitely um, something that uh, is a solution for a lot of entrepreneurs out there that are looking to get in front of more people consistently. Um, turn the content that they're creating into leads and also content that they can repost because a lot of a lot of entrepreneurs don't even have content to repost. 
So right. going on podcast okay. solves that problem as well. You could take an hour podcast and cut it up in 10, Jesus. 20, 30 clips. Easy, right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now you got content to post. You build on relationships. I mean, I've had clients not only make money and generate leads, mm-hmm. but also build some powerful relationships and do deals with the host. Right, just by having a conversation. Just by having and, a conversation. Energy, right. Because 30, 40, 60 minute, 100 and, you know, uh, I mean, an hour and a half podcast, you spend some time together. Oh, yeah. Y'all you might get to go, know each other. Yeah, right. Y'all might go get some lunch after this, get a yeah. smoothie, take a walk. And I then mean, next thing you know, I mean, you, I mean, you, you locked in with the rain. Y'all about to do something. Right? Yeah. You know, and it's funny because majority of my guests, I can say that I've ended up building a relationship with. That's what I'm saying. You know, and that's honestly, believe it or not, that's my number one priority when it comes to the show, because the monetization, I like to think of it as more of a long term game. Yeah, it's a byproduct. You know, it's a byproduct. Yeah. Right now, I want to build that relationship capital. My yeah. network is going to end up building my network. Mm-hmm. Right. So. With that being said, you know, as you as you now uh, uh, closing out 2023 for the pod agency and everything like that. Right. So now I want you to go ahead. If you could uh, wrap up the show and let all of the audience know if there's one bit of advice you would share with them as far as how to start their blueprint, because we have heard your blueprint. Right. And, you know, you have you espouse as far as. Starting now, not perfecting the the actual product. Go ahead and start and get the product out ready afterwards. Relationship capital, you know, building with agencies, you know, and also other podcasters and everything like that. So if there's one blueprint advice that you can give with everybody right now that's viewing this show based upon your experience, what would it be? It would be relationship capital. I mean, you just said it. So, like, everyone right now should make that a priority. That should be part of your marketing. That should be part of your intention relationship capital because the relationship capital is everything not about who you I mean, know you got, what you know i mean if you got I mean, what you know i mean just just because of my relationship capital you've been able to meet a, a, amazing people that come on the so show i can't right so you can, so you can connect yeah. the dots right right oh this customer does this this client does this oh i think they need to meet each other boom right or you just plant seeds for people that you want to connect with you want to meet right and and again that on top of that, I would not be afraid to spend money. A lot of people stop themselves from from growing, stop themselves from um, uh, increasing or moving faster because they got this fascination with not wanting to spend the money. But not spending the money is bottlenecking. It's not about yeah. That's gonna bottleneck you. The money's gonna come back. The time ain't gonna come back. So you can dance around and spend. Hey, I don't want to spend this ten k, five k, thousand dollars. Oh, I don't want to pay the guest. Oh, oh, I don't want to pay <laughs> right, for a guest, right, right, bro. That's gonna, that's gonna, that what that's gonna do is gonna stop you. I spent two G's to spend four hours with a YouTuber to learn from him. We had Again. lunch, we got some content. He drove me in his Rari. Ended up being a guest on the podcast not too long after. Now we text back and forth. He introduced me to somebody else who oh. came on the podcast. That was worth the two K. So and, and that re- and that. Relationship is still materializing. It's still materializing. No, no, no wondering what else can materialize. Listen, you spend a two K right now on Beyonce tickets to get nothing from that. I what you getting from man. that? Man, you just messed up a lot of Beyonce fans right listen, now, man. <laughs> listen, I, and I'm not trying. To, I'm not trying to shun. I'm not trying to shun that. I'm just saying people are not. There's no. There's no thinking. Yes, I'm gonna spend the two K on Beyonce. Yeah, yeah and I see but, what you're saying, but, right? Hey, would you spend two K to go on this show? Would you spend 2K to meet this person? Would you spend uh, 2K to go to this conference, to go to this event? Mm. They're like, I don't know about yeah, that. Let me event or Beyonce that. tickets. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. But, yo, there might be somebody there that, that might be who you need for your business. I don't know, but Beyonce. Yeah, you, uh, know, you know. It's a no-brainer over here. But when it comes to investing in yourself, investing in your business, spending money just to connect with people, your point. people ain't doing it. That's This is what you should be doing. This is what you should consider doing right this should be the no-brainer this should be the thought this should take the second time to you know second thought this should take the process right this should be like yeah 100 percent. i want to read i I want to meet ryan pineda i want to meet grant cardone i want to meet patrick david and patrick david said yo the only way you can meet me spend thirty thousand dollars gonna spend out 30 oh yeah i mean it's just the value behind that right it's no-brainer bro but you will have people that's gonna second guess that but hold on man thirty thousand. do you know do you know and this is also social capital right right do you know if you spent that 30 ball 
or whatever it costs. I'm just making that up. It might be that. It might be more. It might be less. And not only think about this, you spent the money, so you invested in yourself. Number one, okay, right. So right. you invested in yourself. Number two, you got the information from him. Right. Number three, you probably built that relationship up. Right. Right. So now you can probably you in the door. You in the door. You can flow. Right. He may refer somebody to you. If you got a podcast, he may come on the podcast. Mm. You can get pictures and videos that you can post immediately that your target market As can a see. Testimonial. Guess or something. what? Right. More people are gonna want to rock with you because they see you with this person. So now they associate you with this the person. person. Right. So your social capital increases. I bet you do more deals. I bet you that 30K come back to you. That 30 could potentially 5, 10X and everything. Not only right. will it come back to you, it's going to 5, 10X. Hmm. Which, okay. I mean, you've convinced, you know, I don't need much convincing. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, I don't need much convincing. That's one thing is, you know, especially that, you know, we preach in the blueprint community. In order to build your blueprint, one of the first things you need to do is invest in yourself. Facts. Right? You know, I mean, it doesn't matter what, you know, uh, uh, mentorship or what program you want to enter, whether you was networking scale in 10x. You know, I tell people before you, you know, 10x your business, let's start on the blueprint. You know, let's start on the fundamentals. Let's build the basics. And a lot of what we share today is the basics. And therefore, that's why I wanted to bring you on to the show, guys. Because, again, this is a key ingredient in building your blueprint is direct marketing, direct advertising. And there's no better form than podcasting, you know. So before we wrap up the show, though, Brendan, listen, is there anything you want to go ahead and leave the audience with? If you know any special offers, anything that you got going on, let the people know what you got up and coming, brother. Yeah, 100%. So um, what I want you to do right now is uh, text uh, 100K. 100K, okay. Text 100K. Okay. Okay. Right? 213-410-4920, 213-410-4920, text 100K, 100K to 213-410-4920. Okay. I'm going to give a free podcast course in there. Ooh. It's going to be 30 days of mentorship. It's going to teach you uh, four fundamental ways to monetize your podcast. Ooh, okay. I want to give that to the audience so Dope. they can tap in. Dope. Dope. And then that that what that's going to do is going to put them in position. And then also you can subscribe to YouTube, um, TikTok, Instagram. It's all at It's Brendan Boyd. So that's at I-T-S, Brendan, B-R-E-N-D-A-N, Boyd, B-O-Y-D. That. That, that's what I got for the people. That's what's up, man. Listen, you know. All of the information is going to be on the show notes. Again, that's 100K. Definitely the number. Two texts will be in the show notes as well, too. Also, I just want to go ahead and say this. Um, rarely I say this on a, uh, on a show, but, you know, this guest that we have here, Brendan, I hope you guys enjoy the show because this is somebody, if you enjoy the content we produce, if you enjoy, you know, uh, uh, or if you follow me, Expect to see much of Brendan in the future because, again, you know, me, me and this brother here, we've met. We've built a great bond. And, you know, I'm actually part of his mentorship, right? So I'm part of his program. And a lot of the things we're implementing in our company has been directly from Brendan. So, you know, with that being said, you know, I highly encourage all the viewers, check out Brendan, man. Listen, definitely check out his mentorship. Check out the pod agency. If you're looking to get grow your business get in front of more eyeballs or even ears what we're trying to say with podcasts yeah. right eyes or ears, yeah, eyes or ears yeah, right eyes or ears. you know tap in with brendan you know because again you know if you like the content we're producing i'm letting you know we're under his direct mentorship myself i've learned a lot from him and i'm um, looking to continue grow with you brother i appreciate you, you man so it it's been amazing i'm gonna encourage anyone that's uh you know made it this far watching um listening uh, share this podcast out with five people. Uh, get more people subscribing to the uh, Respect My Blueprint podcast. Make sure that you, you know, comment, like. Make sure you 100% subscribe and, um, you know, stay tapped in because you're bringing some high-level guests on here that's giving game every single episode. So they don't want to miss nothing because if you miss something, uh, you're going to yeah, miss a blueprint. You don't want to miss no you blueprints. Don't miss that. And that's the key, guys. That's the key. As we wrap up the show, you don't want to miss the blueprint. Again, it doesn't matter what lane you're in. Whether you're an uh, 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 online coach, entrepreneur, whether you're selling a product or service, whatever the case may be, get the blueprint. Get the blueprint, how to plan your business, how to build your business, how to promote your business, how to fund your business. Once you understand these four corners here, the rest is to the uh, to the moon, man. But thanks for having yes, you, man. Sir. Thanks Let, for having me, bro. Man, listen, man. Listen. <laughs> Tap in with Brendan. 100K. 
Yeah, yeah. Hundred K. That's a special word right there. Yeah, also, and my podcast really quick is uh, the Pursuit Podcast. So P R S T Podcast on YouTube. Just P R S T podcast on youtube subscribe to the channel we got some amazing people on there so you definitely want to tap into that too. absolutely yeah i am going to be a guest on the show guys so listen you know definitely check out brenda's podcast as well too listen check out all all previous episodes i'm sorry i said up and come our previous episodes on apple itunes spotify google uh podcast as well as amazon listen this is the show again where we have entrepreneurs highlight their blueprint across all industries. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and we're going to catch y'all on the flip side. Peace.